Continuing our special bird week here on the morning news and new this morning. There are just over a handful of species of hummingbirds in Idaho, but one of those species is relatively new to the gem state. They're called Anna's hummingbirds and they're quite special. Most hummingbirds migrate to Idaho in April and leave by September, but Anna's hummingbirds arrive in October and leave in March, so they stay here during the coldest months of the year. The Intermountain Bird Observatory is trying to figure out why they can survive these cold months and why they choose Idaho as their home. IBO's work began in 2015 when there were only about 20 reported sightings of Anna's hummingbirds in the winter. This winter, they've had more than 150 reports. Heidi Ware Carlisle at IBO is one of the lead researchers on the Wintering Anna's Hummingbird Project. She says that many of the Anna's Hummingbirds she's tagged have come back multiple winters in a row, but just recently they found one that stayed for the summer too. One paper was actually about the first documented Anna's Hummingbird that stayed for the summer and nested in Idaho. So that's never happened before. And we're really curious to learn if that's going to continue to happen in other places. So if people see, especially a female Anna's hummingbird in the summertime, we'd really like to know about it because we're hoping to document some nesting. Beautiful little birds. The Intermountain Bird Observatory is looking for returning Anna's hummingbirds and wants to know if you see one. You can document your sighting online, which will help them in their research. The link to that Google form will be on KTVB.com. And if you'd like a chance to see one of these beautiful birds in your backyard, Heidi says you'll need a heated bird feeder and some good nectar, which you can make at home pretty easily. She says a good solution is one cup of water to one quarter cup of sugar. And check out these two hummingbirds. Pamela, P uh, Pamela Fiella says that they were born in a nest right outside her window. Man, imagine how tiny they are. And you can text us your bird photos to 208-321-5614. We're sharing them all morning and all week long as we mark Bird Week here on Wake Up Idaho. Let's get to Larry. It's been fascinating, Larry, to see just how many well, different birds we have and how many people are into it. Yeah, we